Okay, universe, um, time to talk about some horror movie news, and take this all as you will, because this is a franchise that has been going downhill in its multiple sequels, and that is the Hellraiser franchise. Let's be real, the first three, maybe four, movies are pretty good, um, but yeah, we can all agree that the Hellraiser films are not the best in the franchise. You know, like, there's no, like, you know rankings of Hellraiser movies, because it's usually the first three and everyone else is like, fuck the rest. But today it was announced that a Hellraiser reboot has been announced, and helming the, the uh, film will be David S. Goyer, who most of you guys would know best as the writer of such films as The Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, and Man of Steel, and also the writer and director of a film called The Unborn, and a few other less than general, not generally good movies. Let's be real, Goyer is not a person, you know, I trust with anything, especially horror, especially after, you know, because of uh, The Unborn, which was total, total, total garbage. Like, I forgot he did that movie. Like, I had to look back, he's like, oh yeah, that was, he did a horror movie, it was shit. So the idea of Goyer writing and also di possibly directing a Hellraiser reboot is nothing short of, fuck this, I'm out. Now, the other thing is, like I said, but DPZ, they can't sink any lower. It's not like the Hellraiser films have been, you know, good. Ha! Ha ha ha! Watch how low it could sink. Because, yeah, I have a feeling that if Goyer can, you know, Goyer thinks, oh, I can make a dark reimagining of Hellraiser, you can't get dark more dark and reimagined than Hellraiser. And it's also, I find it funny, because I was reading the comments for when this news story broke out, I discovered this little tidbit of uh, information, uh, this little tidbit of a comment, and several comments following suit. It was like, I bet you they're going to make a Pinhead a woman. I bet you they're going to make Pinhead a woman just because of the SJW bullshit. Do -do 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 -do. Me bitching online is going to totally make my dick bigger. Congratulations, it's not. And also, fun fact, come here. Let me re let me tell you a quick secret real quick. Come here, come here. Pinhead was a woman in the book by Clive Barker. Yeah, Pinhead was written. The guy who created Pinhead, Clive Barker, and wrote and directed the Hellraiser movie was totally a woman in the original novel. And he was, and, and Pinhead was meant to be a woman in the novel, but apparently the original producers of the of Clive Barker's film said, "Well, we don't know how the film will, uh, the film moviegoers will take a female slasher, so make it, so make Pinhead male." So that's why we kind of got it was because of male acad it was a, uh, you know, it was a ma male slashers were kind of the thing. We did have female slashers, but they were very small and few and far between. So, yeah, in, Clyde Barker, while he was the creator of it, did turn Pinhead into a male, but make no mistake, Pinhead was originally a chick. So, if they decide to follow, the, if Goyer decides to follow the book more in the original continuity, yeah, he's probably going to make Pinhead a chick, which I'm cool with, and I'm pretty sure if you guys have read the books or know of the story of Pinhead, then you know that uh, it kind of works. You know, like, this, this works because, yeah... Um, in fact, most of the Cenobites were women. Most of the Cenobites were considered women because Clyde Barker was trying to really capture that dominatrix kind of feel with the Cenobites. Because if I I don't know if you're aware of this, but S and M was a big influence on Hellraiser. I don't know if you uh, picked up on that on the seven or eight, ten, ten or eleven so movies. I don't know if any of you picked up on that. Anywho, but. Look, guys, I'm trying to be nice. I really am trying to be nice, and don't di you know, don't think I disrespect the Hellraiser films. I don't. I really do love the Hellraiser franchise. But I think we can all agree that you know, Hellraiser is a shadow of itself. It really does feel like a deep shadow of itself. And man or woman, you know, it's really going to be hard to replace you know the original actor of Pinhead. You know, it's going to be. You can't, you're like, yeah, it's difficult. And they keep trying to do that for a long time, and they can't, uh, they just cannot replace him. They just cannot do that. So that's the big thing right there, is that this movie just has bad idea written all over it. Now I'm gonna, like, uh, it's kind of funny that I'm referencing, you know, Hellraiser, because I'm gonna play Devil's Advocate, 
and maybe say that maybe it could be good. Maybe, you know, because Goyer is writing the film, but I didn't see any uh, tags saying that they're saying he may do end up directing the film, but he's just writing it for now. So maybe if you could put this in the hands of a really good director, then, you know, maybe we could have something here. I'm all for a Hellraiser. I'm fine with a Hellraiser reboot. I, I'm totally fine with a Hellraiser reboot. But yeah, the other thing that made the Hellraiser films good, and you know they're going to change it, CGI, you just know they're going to, you know, skip out on the practical effects that made Hellraiser so disturbing and dark to watch. You know they're going to, you know, skip uh, skimp out on that shit. <laughs> yeah, because practical effects cost money. Yeah, so it's probably going to be a CGI fest. Let's just call it as it is. And I, I know, like, oh, DPZ's bitching about a horror movie that he hasn't even seen yet. Yeah, well, I know Goyer's work. I'm well aware of what Goyer's capable of. Yeah, but DPZ, he wrote, you know, The Dark Knight, you know, the epitome of superhero movies. Yeah, well, he co-wrote it. And when he writes alone, it ain't great. And also, the dude's kind of an asshole. The dude has been kind of an asshole who thinks he's the, you know, gift to mankind with his amazing script of Man of Steel. Uh, quick check, Goyer, it was not a great script. It wasn't even a good movie. So, don't fucking kid yourself. Um... But yeah, I, I don't know, like, again, the Hell you can't really sink any lower of how bad the Hellraiser franchise has been, but, you know, who knows, May I want to be wrong. Whenever these remakes come out, or, you know, films, or what have you, whenever they come out, I want to be wrong in some, in some, in a large capacity, but there is just so much working against this franchise as it is, and throwing in, you know, a guy who has proven that he is not a good horror writer or director has kind of proven to me that it, you know, that it's not, you know, there's no real saving anything here. So, I hate to sound like a pessimist asshole, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, until I see, like, physical stuff, I'll save judgment, but from initial reaction, yeah, I am not feeling this so far. I am in no way feeling this. If you are, that's totally fine. I'm, you know, I'm t more power to you for liking this idea, I mean, for being open to it, I'm not, because I'm a jaded son of a bitch. Um, so, I, you know, I'm the last guy to ask, hey, do you think they'll do a good Hellraiser re reboot? I just want a good Hellraiser movie in general. That's all I want. I want a, I don't care if it's a reboot or not at this point, I just want a good Hellraiser movie, which we haven't gotten in fucking years. So, you know, forgive me if I'm being kind of a, you know, kind of an asshole right now, but, you know, let's be real here. The, um, let's be fucking real. The whole point of this movie, you know, the whole point of this is to show that, oh, we can darkly reimagine Pinhead and the Cenobites and all that. I was like, yeah, but how far can you go from Clive Barker that, you know, he hasn't already gone? That's kind of another thing, is that Clive Barker's imagination, especially with Hellraiser, is kind of hard to re you know kind of hard to you know beat you know it's really hard to beat somebody who can think of well Hellraiser <laughs> um so yeah that was kind of you know this is kind of a I really do hate sounding like an asshole I really do guys I honest to God hate sounding like an asshole but I'm just not excited for this maybe if a trailer comes out. Um, I'll be a little more, uh, maybe I'll give my full thoughts, but we aren't going to see a trailer for any time soon. This will probably be a 2020 or 2021 movie. Um, so I'm going to wait with bated breath to see if this actually happens, because the last time we were supposed to get a Hellraiser reboot, uh, they shelved that for a good amount of years. So for all we know, this is the Hellraiser reboot, that, and Goyer just decided, mm, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take a crack at that. So who the fuck knows? Anyway. So you guys tell, uh, tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of David S. Goyer rebooting the Hellraiser franchise? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Uh, do you, would you care if they followed the books a little closer and made Pinhead a woman and the other Cenobites women? Uh, just comment below, let us know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.